Good morning. California, here we come. San Francisco is waiting for me. How many times in the 60s, even in the 70s when I had my little babies, did I not think I would just love to jump in that uh, Volkswagen uh, and go to California and you just weren't able to do it. Um, actually, we did, did a, do a big European trip. But anyway, San Francisco was always, that's where, actually where we got married. Anyway, um, we are off to California and I can't wait. Even though it's uh, going to be snowing here when we leave on Saturday, it's supposed to be snowing or rain in Seattle. Uh, San Francisco is going to be cold. Oh, and Portland, there's going to be snow as well. And Mount Shasta, of course, for a whole week solid, I believe. So we will do I-5 and then we'll scoot off uh, onto the coast and it's just beautiful. The coastline is absolutely gorgeous. Even in the rain, it's beautiful. So we're pretty excited. I think this is going to be trip 4041, drive, doing the back and forth drive for us. And uh, you guys get to come. I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, we go to some cute little bars that we go to. We usually go to local places. We stay away from the sort of high-end fancy tourist stuff. We, we like the locals. Um, so we'll share some of that with you. But right now I want to share with you that uh, I think all us girls, um, I know a few of you guys pack too, but my husband doesn't. But anyway, I've really had to figure out how to make things work, especially uh, flying is far more difficult. We, we get to go in the car. So I get to take more stuff. But I still get that, really, you're taking all that? Like we're only going for two months, we're not moving there. I go, I know, but you know, I like to have choices. And um, you guys know black is big on my list. So uh, I have a lot of stuff piled up here. Um, but you know, a suitcase is always really difficult in the car because you know, they have no give. You can't, you know, once they're packed, they have the hard edges. So you can't move it around that much. Then I thought, oh, I know what, my husband used to play hockey and his goalie bag was massive so I thought that's the answer I'll get a really nice big goalie bag with wheels and put everything in well you couldn't lift the darn thing and I could never see what did I put where <laughs> these big bags and you know you can suck the air out of them but you know first of all this bag isn't very handy and and you can suck the air out of them. I would use this bag coming home because I wouldn't care if everything was wrinkly and a mess and I'd have to deal with it. But I sure, heck, heck uh, well, I would use it but not suck the air out of it going down because I, I wouldn't want to spend two days trying to straighten my clothes out. So, I mean, and, but a lot of my friends do, do use them when they travel. Um, but yeah, like I say, maybe coming home, but not now. I use these. You guys, you know, when we buy a comforter or a, a mattress pad or whatever, they come in these bags. And I love it because they have zippers. So it's far, far easier to access than those bags. And a nice zipper and a handle. So as long as it's not super heavy, I actually did have a really nice thick one and I overpacked it, but I've overpacked it for years and it finally gave out on me. But anyway, you get a nice handle with it and I can see everything that is in here now <laughs> everything's black but i can figure out what corner is doing what because of i recognize some of my tops and what you even can do if you really and i've done it um, i don't get quite as anal now but i would flip this out and i would turn it around and i would write on here what i had in here and then i would stick it back in here so um, if we decided to check in somewhere for longer than a night, uh, I knew what bag to grab and what had what in it. So you can put that there. Okay, so this is what I use and the reason I also love it, this fits either if I want to put it in the trunk, it fits really nicely behind either the passenger or driver's seat. But if I have to put it in the trunk, it's got some give. It's got a little bit of wire here, but. You can push it and shove it and mold it way better than you can a suitcase. Okay, so here's my little bag. Now what I will do with these, and I, I roll all my stuff, but I do not roll my husband's stuff, and we do share. I mean, I put stuff wherever it fits. So my husband's shorts, I put in the very bottom. And I don't seem to have to roll those. They just do really well 
Um, just fold it in half. And so we're, they're at the bottom. Thank you very much. Okay, so all my stuff I have rolled. Now this pile, I've got a pile over here and these are all my dresses. So I will put them all together. That's a really thick one. Okay, and these are skirts as well. So dresses and skirts will go right here and I'll know that's in this pile. Now this one's really big and uh, sort of a wrap thing that's, so I'll put that in the middle, that kind of splits, divides my dresses and my skirts. There we go. And now I started rolling everything because my wonderful sister-in-law, Bonnie, the only sister-in-law I have. <laughs> I'm not saying that really loud though. Okay, so here are, so I already know right here in this corner, those are all skirts and dresses and they're in there. Okay, so my capris, lots of capris. I try to bring, uh, try to bring seven days of uh, of clothes, it, whether it be our undergarments or tops, it's got to have seven days. I don't want to do laundry every day. Okay, so right here, and I've rolled them all. Now I know my sister-in-law tells me when uh, she does a fair amount of traveling, her roll, she'll roll tissue in here, and then that really even um, keeps stuff nicer. But yeah, this is if everything goes well, this is a uh, you know two and a half day drive with two nights of checking in. Okay, so all my pants are here, nicely rolled up. Here we go. Okay, so now tops. So I've got a nice little corner here. And I will put my tops here. Look at this, guys. Red, a couple of red tops. This is good. This will... <laughs> this is big, so I'm going to put... And it's linen, so I'm going to put that there. A couple more tops. Couple more. I'm not taking that much. There must be something wrong. Okay, so here I go. This is going to be really easy to put into the car, though it feels a little bit heavy, but it'll work. Now, I have this fabulous, every girl's got her favorite little black dress. I love this dress. Do you know what, you guys? I went to um, Vegas about seven years ago eight years ago maybe my sister-in-law sees this video she'll put a note down below and and uh, correct me uh, we were staying at treasure island and i won twenty eight thousand dollars so the next day i went on a shopping spree and i bought that little black dress this is an ellen fisher eileen fisher sorry and i love this dress just love it but it's got this sort of like crinkly so it's awesome for travel just roll it up and when I get to uh, the at the house on the other end um, it is gonna look like it never came off a coat hanger so here we go roll it roll it and then I can put it in just over here so look at this I got actually almost packed because I did say this time I'm not gonna over take too many clothes because you know what I do this thing do you girls do this you I take stuff with me so often and I get it back to the other end and I go, I never wore this at home. I haven't worn it at home in probably two years. First, first problem was why was it still in my closet? The second thing is why am I packing it with me on a trip? Because if I didn't wear it at home, why would I wear it anywhere else unless it was a really summery thing or you know a bathing suit or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so anyway. I, I'm trying to be really good and really think about what I need. And hey, if I don't have it, I do believe they have a few stores there. Okay, so I got a pack. Now the other thing that I do is, now this is my husband's little bag. Oops, I just popped it and take the air out of it. And I put our saw, like I put my undergarments in a Ziploc bag and I, as I have his. And, and then I stick that in here. So if I need it, because they're little things, and I can just, I know where all his underwear is, I know where his socks are, and I will do the same for myself. And then I will just lay that in here so it's really easy to see. This isn't even quite full, this is unbelievable. Oh, I know I'll find something else. Okay, so I zip it up. Here we go. And, now, 
when I fill this up, none of, none of this will really shift. But here we go. So if I wanted to, I could put notes here on what I put in there. I'm not going to do that. And But it's so much easier to get in the car. This will probably go behind the seat if I want to. Um, but yeah, now if I need something or we get closer to California and maybe the weather will warm up, maybe the sun will be out and I'll say, hey, yeah, I can get rid of my blue jeans. Uh, let's go and get a pair of my capris. Um, I know exactly by what's laying here that all my capris and pants are on this side. And over here, I've got my dresses and over here, I've got my tops. But you know what, you guys, this is such, a, for me, this is such a practical way. Uh, like I say, it works for me. Not gonna be for everybody. Some people like suitcases, but this is perfect. Anyway, guys, um, we're going to California. Gonna take you with us on our journey. And I don't know where we're gonna stop or where we're gonna be. And uh, then of course, a little bit of editing's gotta come into it. But uh, I'm gonna try to do it all on my iPhone. And so come along and uh, yeah, we are looking for sunshine and warmth. These bones need it. Ah. Uh.